guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Differences in the Family Tree. We are here with our Sim, and she's still on her vacation. Um, in the last episode, we were looking for anyone who had the Loves the Outdoors tree, and the only two people that we found were Roland and Edgar. Um, Edgar is the forest ranger here, and Roland is the secret agent. Um, so... We could go for that. We're not. I don't think he's supposed to really have a job because he's supposed to be kind of living off of um, fishing. So we might just get him to quit the job. So that wasn't really matter. We can just go off of looks. And I don't know. Edgar's very different looking. He does have the mean trait, which I'm not so fond of. Um, I'm kind of, to be honest, liking Roland's traits a lot more than I like anyone else's. Um, she does want to be mischievous to Roland, which I thought was kind of funny. Uh, she wants to weed a plant. Um, other than that, she's pretty much just having some fun by watching some TV. Um, who's this? Emmett. Do we know Emmett? I think we know Emmett. We know Emmett. Okay. Well, I don't know. It's just, she's not really tired, so she's just really, really needs some fun. Um, uh, Brittany Will. We don't know her. We could do a cheerful introduction and see if, if maybe there's something there. Now, I don't know if she's able to marry a girl, because if she could, um, we could go for a girl who has the, um, her cue is full. Well, stop watching TV and come introduce yourself to these people. Um, I'd rather introduce myself to the guys, to be honest, because I'm not sure that you could have a girl as a spouse. I'm not really sure how that would work. So give him a cheerful introduction, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and please and thank you. Alright, we already know that guy. Alright, that's fine. Who is it? I don't know. William Farris. Okay. Well... Isn't there a trait that, like, tells you... Isn't there, like, a trait that you can buy or a um, uh, lifetime happiness reward or whatever they're called on this? A whim reward? I don't even know. <laughs> Anyways, um... Isn't there, like, one that you can buy where it, like, tells you all their traits? I think there might be. I'm not really 100% sure. Um, let's see. Be friendly. Ask what is career. Then go ahead and be friendly and maybe get to know him. There we go. Um, be friendly. Ask what is day. Oops. Then you can be friendly and you can get to know him again. And then you can do this all the outdoors. And get to know him one last time and we'll see if he has the loves outdoors trait how old is he he's an adult all right well okay all right who's that i don't I don't know who that is. All right, he works at the management at Dewey, Cheatham, and Hal Incorporated. He's creative, materialistic, and there's Roland, Goopy Higgins, and he is. Neat. All right, so he's not gonna work out for us, unfortunately. Doesn't really have what we're looking for. All right, you. Why don't you call him over? Jessene Clonkas Rabana. Ah, Floopy. No, Bilbar. can't. Okay, well. Um, who's this? Wait, wait, wait! I want to meet you, Paxton Sadler. All right, well, stop talking to that guy and come talk to this guy instead. Cause that guy is not gonna do it for us. I'm. Just, I. I know I can go for one of the two that we've already met. One of these two. Um. I kind of want to know which one's younger. To be honest. 
All right, let's see. I'm going to pause because I don't want her to do anything that I wouldn't want her to do. So ask a career. Um, this is just a way to get her to know all of his traits right away. If you guys don't play this way, that's fine. I do it just because um, for this one, it has to be someone who has the loves outdoors trait. So it's like you got to do what you got to do, you know, to get. The information that you need. Alright, get to know. Ooh. No? Ooh. Are you just going to walk away from me and be a jerk? Oh. Feeling the blush? <laughs> Come on. Cool. You can do this. Lib. He works as a doctor at so. Cut and Gut that's Health. Cool. Okay, so that's pretty good. He's Boy a doctor. Uh -huh. So, he's Not really interested in Tessa. I don't know who she is, oh, okay. but that's fine. He's well, a snob. <laughs> oh gosh. I can't imagine a snob living the way that we do. <laughs> snob that loves the outdoors. <laughs> He's a bro. What else? Um, his last trait is... Yes. Um... Slob. How can you be a snob and a slob? I, well, I don't like this girl. I'm gonna punch her in the throat. <laughs> Being mean to my Sam is inappropriate. <laughs> All right, well, that was a no go. Why don't you come and harvest this plant? Um, we already know it's a strawberry bush, but uh, it's fine. We'll take what we can get, I guess, right? I'm trying to move. Um,. My mouse is not cooperating today. It doesn't want to move the screen the way I normally move it. So we're just going to have to do this. Which is going to be really weird and really awkward. And not as effective. But we do what we must in the time of need. Alright, I don't really know. I think, um, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock at night. Well, probably should have her go to bed. All right, let's get her home. Let's let her use this. Get out of that conversation. Those people are ridiculous. <laughs> that man just let that girl just be nasty to me. All right, go away. I don't want you. I don't want you in my life. Whew. Sorry about that. All right, she does want to do something with Roland. So I'm kind of leaning more towards Roland. I'm just scared when I move them in as an adult, they're going to be much older per se. Even knowing they're an adult, they could be almost an elder and they have to have enough time to be able to fish. Um, and I believe they have to complete the fishing like all, catch all the fish. Like she has to do all the plants. I think he has to do all the fish. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly what um he can bring to the table if he is really really old i don't really know i might have um both of them visit and just see which one's younger um if it says both adult for both of them then well we just go with an adult then i guess i don't really know all right is there any food in here there isn't okay you're gonna go ahead and you are gonna cook up and make up some autumn salad. Just make a single serving. It's only you. There's no point in making anything more than that. Because we're going to be leaving in a little bit anyways. And that's fine. Gavin Richards has moved into Rio Verde. Jay Huntington III moved into Springscape. Mitchell Kalani moved into Vista Quarry. Huh. Zoe Patel Smart. moved into Yuma Heights. Don Lothario moved into Nookstone. Oh, he moved out finally. Tina Caliente moved oh, into a oh, gave abode. Oh, oh. Dina Caliente moved into sand trap flat. <laughs> Jeez. Katrina Caliente <laughs> moved into Daisy Hobble. So why did everyone move out of the house? Why couldn't someone stay there? Daisy Blackman moved into Crick Cabana. <sighs> Summer Holiday moved into Umbridge Manor. Liberty Lee moved into Park Shore. Travis Scott moved into Rindle Rose. Nina married Justine Church. All right. And Juliana Yang and Jamie Blackman got married. All right. Zoe Patel and Russell Gibson got married. All right. They kind of make a cute couple, actually. Liana Quigley and Luca Silverman got married. 
All right, well, that's good. At least something's happening in the town. I really love that MC Command Center mod. Um, I'm going to miss it when Get Together comes out. I'm hoping and praying that the person who created it is going to get it updated that day so that I can make um, LPs with it in. <sighs> it's just, I don't know. I just really, really, really hope that they do keep it um, updated. It's kind of like story progression, if you guys know it from Enros, so if you guys are wondering what the heck is going on and why I'm getting all these pop-ups. It's kind of like the story progression from Enros, and it just gives you the stories for everyone in the town, kind of like you did, unless you turned the notifications off for just your family. Um, and you don't have to get those notifications. You can turn them off. I choose to have them on, so I kind of know what's going on in town. But otherwise... Um, it's a really great mod, and it really brings your world <laughs> to life. <laughs> it keeps the f people having kids. I mean, it makes them have babies, makes them get married, as you saw. Um, I didn't have any pregnancy notifications, but, um, sometimes I can get, like, multiple multiples of them. And sometimes you'll see that people are having twins and triplets, and then sometimes they're just having, like, a single baby here and there. But it is kind of nice. I really, really like it. And it works really well. It doesn't lag out the computer or anything. Um, I mean, uh, I guess if you're having a lot of lag already in uh, your game, maybe not. But I don't think a lot of people experience lag in this game. I mean, if I personally know. I've never really heard anyone say that they experience a lot of lag in the game. Which is uh, good. Why are you getting up? Go to sleep. Oh, it's bedtime. Tom girl. Games. Oh. We'll turn it off. It's not that hard. Figure it out yourself. You know how to turn off a TV. You can pick up a remote and turn it off there, chickpea. She's like, no, I can't. What you talking about? Well, I think you can. I really think you can. All right. Use this ah. when you get up and take your shower. And I'm going to have you invite over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, those are the two people we last met. All right. You're going to go ahead and... um. Invite him to hang out at the current lot, and you're going to invite him to hang out at the current lot. Those two people are going to be who we're going to invite. I like Zachary's look. I really do. Okay, so you know how there was that bin where you could save people, like, in your bin, and then you could use them later? I kind of wish they had that for The Sims 4, so you could just, like, pick people out of it when you're creating a sim. I know you can use the gallery the same kind of way, but I sometimes I just want people for myself, you know? And... I know that you don't have to share them up there. I guess it kind of is the same thing, but I just liked it being right in there, and I didn't have to load them in or anything. Um, and then I could just edit their looks and the way I wanted. I kind of like that a lot. So, all right. I think she's going to invite over these two guys, um, and then they're going to come out here and play horseshoes with her, hopefully. We're going to get to know them. Oh, yeah. Well, we know them pretty well. I just want to see their ages and stuff. But she needs to have fun, so I figured this might be fun. He's already here. Okay, well, where is he? Invite him over. Is this him? Um, yeah. Um. da 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 Okay, well, I could actually tell how old he is from here. Is he an adult or a young adult? An adult. Hmm. Um, take a picture together. Okay, is he gonna... He's busy right now. Well, Edgar, if that's how you're gonna be, buddy boy, we might just not go for you. I understand you probably have work, which he probably is at work. Seven to seven? Yeah, he's definitely at work. But still, I really wanted to see which one was younger and then see also, like, which one was more of a catch. What the heck? Why did you lose you? Oh, here he is. All right, call him over. Jeepa, Kalu. Jeepa, Kalu. <laughs> Who calls someone over like that? Seriously. All right, flatter him. I don't know. He has white hair, doesn't he? I don't What's know. the next Nurgle? Pendip. Go ahead and ask if he's Gaza. single. I mean, come on. You want to be mischievous? Yeah. All right, let's be yeah, mischievous. Um, you come with the hand buzzer. He is single. Okay. 
<laughs> Even I giggle every single time they do that, which is so sad. Alright. Try and use a pickup line on him. You wanna be mischievous? Girl? He's really feeling it. Dang. Flirt with him. Okay. I don't like the hair. I think if I get with him, since he's an adult, I'll probably change the hair color, because I think it's gray. It's kind of light. I think it's weird. Um, blow him a kiss. Go ahead and compliment his appearance. Compliment his... Confess your attraction. I think we're just going to go for him. Embrace him. We're going to get this up. I don't think he's bad looking, to be honest. Alright, have your first kiss. Hopefully he's not too old. I don't think it's against the rules either to reverse ages. So we might be able to do that as well. Hold his hands. Hold his hands. Give him a kiss. Um... Wouldn't it be funny if he just, like, asked me to be his girlfriend? That'd be really funny. Offer him a rose. <laughs> He's all about the photos. Seriously, buddy? We don't care. We don't care about photos. We don't care. Ask him to be your boyfriend. Um, how do you ask him to move in? I always forget on this game. Uh, sexy pose for him. Oh, Oh, they are really excited. Yeah. Um, confess your attraction. Ah, she want to woohoo with him. Man, she's really taking this to the next level. Express your fondness. Propose. I don't, I don't want him to take her last name, but... Would you like to marry me? Gibbs. Gibbs. Oh, Miva. Watch like somebody else better pop in. Wait, wait, is that who I think it is? Yeah, he's an adult as well. Edgar's an adult as well, so it doesn't really matter. Either way, we're getting an adult. We're getting an adult. Alright, go ahead and be enticing. And, um, see what you could have had, Edgar. You see what you could have had. Do I like Edgar's looks better? Nah. That's alright. He's fine. He seems much older to me. I think it's the gray hair, though. I think if he didn't have the gray hair, he wouldn't look so bad. Kiss his hands. Oops. Oh, lark him. Uh -huh. He's going fishing. This is what you're more you're busy doing? I got it. Don't worry about it. Kiss his cheek. <laughs> Cannot get married while on vacation. Darn. Oh. Alright, well, we might be able to ask him to move in. Possibly. Get to know him. There's a bear. Just a random bear. Don't worry about it. Right in his day. <laughs> Compliment his outfit. Um, have a deep conversation. And you can discuss your interests. I think he, they should be able to ask him to move in now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really understand this game. Sometimes it's really weird. Flatter him. Who's this girl? Get off me, brah. June, I like your name. And you're really pretty. She's really pretty. Jeez. Um, give him a hug. Is she even listening to what I'm telling her to do? Discuss your interests. Uh. <laughs> Do something outdoors. Oh, he does <laughs> like the outdoors. So that should work. Um, learn an herbalism <laughs> recipe. <laughs> Do it. Do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Deep conversation. Oh. Oh, what is she? Ah. Become best friends. <laughs> oh, she has learned the fungal infusion oh, fertilizer recipe from the hermit. Oh yeah, he is the hermit, isn't he? Oh man, I forgot. 
So smile, oh, um, yeah. compliment his outfit, though I hate Let's it. See. <laughs> drip, we'll just yeah. pretend. Oh, um, express your admiration. Olympo. Can you not ask him to move in? Like, seriously, can't ask him to move in? Slew for clave. Discuss world peace. No, come back. Gossip. I ain't got time for this. Oh my gosh. Girl is mean. Oh, beam. If um, <laughs> let's see. Discuss world peace with him. How do we move him in? Can we not move him in? <sighs> Maybe not. Share a secret. Maybe it's because we're on vacation. Alright, then let's just head back and see if we can invite him over. Mm, maybe. Okay. Um, let's see. No. I don't know why. I'm like so out of it. Invite him to join the vacation. I don't know. Can you even do that? What's his name? Um. Nope. Can't. Because he's not a person. He's a person from here. Um. Travel home. You can invite him over, hopefully, and get him to move in. I need to do it pretty quickly, though, because you've spent a lot of time working on this and not so much time working on the actual goal of what she needs to be doing, which is growing the garden with one of every plant available in the game. Um, get married to a sim with the trait. Loves the outdoors. No woohoo before marriage. Have a boy and girl. No adoption. We could probably go ahead and force that, though. The girl and the boy, if we, whichever one comes, whichever one we have first, then we just force the second gender on the second one. Because it does say you have to have a boy and a girl. All right, can you invite him? You can't invite him to hang out? What the heck? Oh. Go on the lot. Forget about that. Go on the lot. No? Still? Uh, How do you marry him? Do I have to go back on vacation? I'm so confused. You can't get married on vacation. And I didn't get the option to ask him to move in. So what am I supposed to do? Hmm. That is disgusting. Well, um... I don't really know how to do it then. Do we have any basil growing? Uh, hmm. Um, we might have some action. No, we don't. Nope. Don't have any of that. Okay. Put that out. Um, I don't think you can plant these when you don't know what they are. Can you? No. You can eat it or attempt to identify it. Plant this basil. That would be good. You could try to identify this if you want to. She's got more in her inventory, so attempt to identify it. These, you can attempt to identify. Do you have an apple growing? Bluebell, lily, pear, rose, apple. Okay, so you've got apples. What about a potato? No, you don't have potatoes. Um, go ahead and plant that. She has no idea what it is. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Alright, what about strawberry? Possibly? <laughs> no? Yes? I don't think she knows. Apple. Strawberry. Why don't you attempt to identify that one and this one? Oh. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and plant that. She does have bluebells. It's this one. Correct? Yes. What about. Oh, attempt to identify that. She has a pair. It's that one. How about a, 
I don't I didn't remember a carrot. Daobao. So let's plant that. All right. All right, the lilies are these. Um the rose are those. How about a snapdragon? No. She doesn't have a snapdragon yet. All right, well, go ahead and plant that. And then she's got these ones that she can attempt to identify and attempt to identify that as well. So she's got basil. Anything that she's already got, I'm probably just going to sell it just so I know that she's got it. Oh, she got that one. Nice. Congratulations, girl. All right. Go ahead and plant that. She's reached level three. She can now brew soothing skin balm remedies. And she learned that this is toxic chamomile. Yay! Who's this? Do you know this person? You don't. Do a cheerful introduction with him. What's the matter? I don't think she knows. All right, and plant that. At least she's got that. What was this one? Desperate for fun, stranger danger, and hungry. Oh, she's hungry, okay. Well, we can fix that. Come on over here. Have a quick meal of some granola. And that should work. Okay. Well, let's do this. Um... You're probably going to want to get to know... I don't really care. I've already engaged somebody. It doesn't matter now. Just wanted to introduce myself. That's all. Alright, let me sell what she's already planted. So she's planted basil. Um, she shouldn't have this fish anyways. She's not identified that, not identified that. She has an apple. She's planted potatoes. She's planted strawberries. Um, elderberries are these ones? Normal. Aren't these the... Yeah, so she did identify these. And I don't think she has... That was a snapdragon. That's basil, yeah. Alright, so plant that. And then we can sell the others. These ones. We can sell those. Um, she has identified that. She planted a blackberry. Um, she's got bluebells. Chamomile is this one. No, this one. No, this one. Which one's the chamomile? Can't remember. It's one of these. Yeah, I was killing it. Toxic chamomile. This one's just chamomile. Alright, well, she can get rid of that. And she can plant one of these. Here. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and plant this. Uh -huh. um, the Noxious Elderberry is this one. Yeah. So she can go ahead and sell these. She's got a Snapdragon right here. No, here. Where's the Snapdragon? I'm so confused. Right there. Alright. The carrot is here. The pear is right there. Um, this is a lily, which is this one. The rose is this one. So we'll sell that. Go ahead and water that. And then the chamomile she's doing is right here. Correct? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and sell that. So all she's got left are these three things in her inventory that she needs to figure out. So that's pretty good. I feel like she did pretty well at uh, getting some new stuff. I know we don't have everything, obviously. We're going to have to work on it. Um, if I look in here, she has a lot to find. But she has found quite a bit. And she found five of these. And she... Only needs to find one, two, three, four, five more. So two mushrooms. 
Um, she needs one more like this, and then she needs one more that's like a leafy one. And then the rest of these, we should be able to find um, around here. So we shouldn't have to travel to find them. But I'm going to try and find some more of these ones before we go back and traveling because we have a lot more of those to find anyways. So that's what I'm going to be working on soon-ish. Um, why don't you go ahead and clean this up? Can you clean that up for me, please? And if anyone knows how I can move him in, because I don't know. Um, you didn't meet that guy, Peter Barrios. Barrios. There's a guy that I know named something Barrios in The Sims 3, and he's in one of the towns. Enrique is his name, I think. That's kind of weird. Can you invite him to hang out? So you can invite him, but you can't invite him. I just, I don't understand. So, I don't really know. If you guys know the answer to it, let me know. Because it would be really helpful. But, let's get these two. Oh. And I want to move them over a little bit. Because they did shift when she planted them, which is weird. Ooh. But I don't know why it does it, but it does. Who's that person? Do we know that person? Yeah, yeah we know them. I still don't understand why he has gray hair and he's an adult. Ooh, answer that. It's me, Roland. Do you want to go on a date? Yes! I do! Oh my goodness, Roland. Man, I was trying to get you to move in with me so badly, and now you asked me on a date? I think this might be answering my prayer. <laughs> Alright, getting on a date. We're going overtime on this. We need to go on a date, Roland. Get him moved in. Where's he gonna take us on a date if he's the, uh, what you call it? <gasps> Ooh, he's here in town. Hey. Wow, buddy, you're in your Speedo, just yeah. saying. That is not appropriate. You're at a children's park. All right. Elope immediately. Uh, yeah. Let's do Slow it. <laughs> we love the Speedo. We love the Speedo so much. We have to go right in for the kill. No fin. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like instant <laughs> marriage. Uh, All right, what's this? Desperate for fun. Isn't this fun? You're getting married. That's fun. <laughs> She's like, no. No, it's not. Well, I think it is. <laughs> He's got as small as shorts on as you do. Actually, maybe even shorter. Buddy, put some pants on, please. You're at a park. Put some pants on, man. Yes. This should prompt us to move him in, I think. I don't think we know Aiden, Aiden Carlos. We probably shouldn't just like start introducing ourselves to random people. Aww. Oh god. Oh god. I'm missing it. Woo! The date just keeps getting better. How could it get any better than this? I mean, come on! Whew. Alright, so I had to wait for him to ask me on a date. That was sweet. And we got married. <laughs> like instantly. All right, he's gonna bring twenty thousand or no? I don't know if he does. I just think we get six thousand nine hundred. I don't think we'll get that twenty thousand, which is fine. Bring a hermit back to society. Kicking butt over here. Kicking butt. I just got an achievement for that because this hermit, he is out of the woods, literally. <laughs> he has come out of the woods to play in his speedo. Whoa. <laughs> All right, where is he? I think he's at home. So we got bring a hermit back to society. You can have your married sims move in together by using the split and merge button in the household management section of edit neighborhood. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, go home. Let's go see your husband. I can't believe she's married. Oh, and they took her last name. No, they didn't. Nope. He, she never took his last name, which is kind of awkward. So I'll have to go in and edit it real quick. It's Estep. E-S-T-E-P, I believe. So, Harmony Estep. And whatever his last... Whatever his... Roland Estep. Man, I almost forgot my husband's first um first name. That's bad. We just got married to him, too. Mm. I got so many husbands, though. If you think about it, all my LPs, all my sims that are getting married. <sighs> so many names. Have a sim reach a maximum level in the herbalism scale. Um, well, that's great and all. But, uh, that's not what you needed to do. <laughs> He's like, what? 
<laughs> All right, so let's see. Since I've got, I'm already going over time because he, she got the date with him and then we married him in. I'm going to go ahead and edit her real quick. Do we have, we don't have a dresser or a mirror. Okay, well, I'm going to put a mirror. I'm going to buy her a mirror. I want to change her last name. And you can do it now within the actual, without using cheats. Um, which I like that they've added that in. I like that they give you the option to keep the name that you, like, have separate last names. Which, honestly, who has separate last names when you get married? Nobody that I know keeps, like, a separate last name than their husband. But that's right. I'm okay with it. Um... Some people would be like, gee, baby, you're so wrong. Everyone does. Everyone keeps their last names different. I could see hyphenating them. I, I've seen that happen before. Um, well, no. Their last name was actually the same. But my teachers in high school, one of the, the two science teachers got married. They kept their last names while working the same. But when... Their actual marriage last names are the same thing. <laughs> Mitzel but Narla. It's confusing, I know. Right, Estep is the last name. S Tep, right? Oh god. That was bad. I don't know why Caps is on. Is that how you spell it? E S T E P? E S T E P. Yes. Right? I'm second guessing myself. Roland and Harmony Estep. All right. Um, he is an adult. I don't know how close to being an elder he is, but I don't think he is bad looking. I think he is definitely okay. I don't like the hair color. I don't know if it's just this hairstyle. Oh my goodness, boy, that is just not good on you. All right, let's see. No, <laughs> it looks even worse. Let's just go with. Um, uh, not really feeling it. Not. Um. <sighs> As a hermit, you don't really fit any of these other hairstyles, which is weird. This one's not horrible. It's not my favorite, though. Um. Actually, I like this one. I like this. And he's got black hair. See, I knew that it, there was something off. Okay, I don't really like your eyebrows. Can I change them? They're too high. It looks really weird. I don't mind the angle that you have them at, but... Whoa. Why are they so archy? <laughs> Why you got archiness? I'll go with these. These don't make him look archy McArcherston <laughs> so much. Okay, and I don't mind this, but... Put it to black to match the rest of your hair. Because that is your hair color. I'm pretty sure. Because it oh. came in as that color. And if it weren't, it would have popped it into whatever it was, I believe. Okay. I'm just going to quickly edit his clothes, guys. So, if you guys don't want to see this, then you guys can zoom, you can zone out now. Um, okay. Well, he's going to be living outside. So, I kind of want him to go with the same kind of theme as her with this. And, oh my gosh, how cute would it be if they were wearing the same matching shirts, but, like, men and women. Oh, we're totally doing it. Um, she's wearing shorts. I do think he should wear shorts, but I think they should be dark. Not those. Those are uh -huh. not nice. Maybe these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those could work. That could work. All right, and just give him some sandals yes killing it he's much smexier now without the glasses i mean <laughs> oh and i gotta give them rings i gotta give them rings i got to give them rings actually i like what he's wearing for this i am not gonna t t touch much i just want to change the color of these to black to match hmm. the actual outfit otherwise that is great oh god please buddy please Help me here and don't do this to yourself. The shorts are okay. I'm going to leave them. But I am going uh. to give you a white shirt to go with them. And mm -hmm. I think you should wear white sneakers as well. You can keep the the watch. I don't care about that. Um, 
sleepwear. Why would you wear glasses to sleep? Nobody knows. What you're wearing, though, is fine. I could, I can live with that. I can live with that. Um, party wear. Ugh. Oh, that's bad. Party wear. It looks very casual. Put on more of a party shirt. This might be good. Um. Yeah, that's fine. You can wear that. That's that's party styled. I like that one. All right, and then for swim, just take the shirt off. The shorts are okay. I mean, they're not my favorite shorts, but whatever. All right, accessories. Now I gotta give you guys rings because you guys are married now. So wow, that is really far down on his finger. I'm just saying, nobody wears a ring that far down on their finger. Nobody I know that wears it that way. I guess I should say. Um. Okay, I do want to have you wear a wedding band for each and every outfit. Just to prove to the ladies that you was taken, boy. You was taken for days. Okay, for the rest of your life. He is very good looking. I like it. Alright, and this girl, she needs to put on her bling bling because she got married. <laughs> um... She's going to wear this, and I'm just going to go with the white one. Just a plain white one. It can Ooh. be plastic. We'll, plain, we'll, we'll believe it's plastic. Because, I mean, they don't really... Well, I don't know. They don't really have that much money. He comes from not having a job. So, I can't see him bringing in, like, a diamond ring or anything. Unless it's an heirloom. We could pretend like it's his mother's ring or something. His mother died, and that's why he went out into the woods to try to live his life in peace until he met Harmony and she brought him back from the depths of despair that he was in. That's hmm. going to be their story. So his mom died. He got really sad. Went and lived in the woods. Ended up oh. liking it until he met Harmony and then decided it was time to come back to society because he missed it. And he wanted to spend the rest of his life with his beautiful new wife. I do want to change her hairstyle, though. I'm kind of kind of feeling a new hairstyle for her. Um, no, I wanted hair, not makeup. Um, let's see. Maybe we could just go with, like, a ponytail or something. Just something a little bit different for a little while. We've had this since the very beginning, so... This is kind of cute. Oh, well, it didn't keep your hair color. Mm -hmm. um, this is like an orangey color. It's going to be hard to find another color like that. I promise you that one, probably. See, that one's way too orange. That one's not bad, but I don't like the hairstyle on her, so I'm going to say no to that. Moving on. <laughs> um, no. This. No, it just doesn't look her. I might have to go back to what she had because I might not like anything else. Um, -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. I didn't mind that hairstyle mm. she had on just a second ago. That's dark compared to what she had before. Um, I don't mind this on her, but it's definitely different from what I was thinking of. Maybe something like this though would be cute. It's a little bit too bright. This is more like what she had. Um, I don't really know. I I don't know if I like it. What about this one? I like this on her. We're going with that. That's really cute. All right, so she's going to go with that. Uh -huh. And she doesn't really have makeup on, but that's because... You know, she's not really meant to have makeup on. I mean, I have it on her lips just because their lips never look proper. If you look at his lips, they're not even barely pink. They're just like the same color of his skin. So it's really weird. Anyways, guys, I think that's where I'm going to end it, though. Because now that they're married, we got the rings on. We gave him a makeover. He's got black hair, not gray. It was a custom hair, and that's why it was giving him that weird, funky hair color. Anyways, um, I think it could be really good. Go Sims can wear carved pumpkins on their heads. Oh, the possibilities. Boy. Um. Alright, so now that he's moved in, even knowing they're living off the land, I think I might build them a little bit more of a shack. Maybe like a little log cabin or something. Not a big anything. Probably will keep the 
bathroom pretty much the way it is, like an outhousey kind of thing, but then have like a separate like cabin where they eat and stuff and have a fridge and all that kind of stuff. She lived like this for a while and now oh, he did bring in the money. Let's be honest. We got money for days. Um so I think that that'd be cute. We're still going to have the picnic and stuff. It's still going to be really outdoorsy. Um, I might add some landscaping as well because we don't really have much landscaping going on. I do want to add a fence for this. And when we come back, he is going to start working on trying to fish. How far into his adult stage is he? He's got 18 days. Okay, so he's not too much older than her. She has... 14 days until she ages. So about two weeks. He's about two weeks and two days older than her, which is fine. Um, but they definitely will, can have a long and happy life together. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below, there is a donation link if you'd like to donate to the channel along with things like my facebook fan page links and my twitter and my twitch so if you'd like to check them out that would mean the world to me and i will talk to you guys in the very next one thanks very much for watching